first time ever in program history. They sweep the Albany Great Danes by the final a barn burner 12 to 9 and they used 14 hits to get that done and uh, coach three hours and 23 minutes uh, not the quickest nine inning game and it wasn't the prettiest uh, but you guys get the win yeah bad bad pace for sure and uh, we needed to be picked up a little bit pitchers didn't do a great job you know once we jumped out to a lead we, sh we should have uh, put them away with, on the mound and, and stayed in command a little bit better but we didn't and then we had some guys come up with some big at bats later on in the game took advantage of opportunities so that was needed at the beginning of this series on the pregame show you said that uh, this albany great danes team is very scrappy and uh, you were you hit it right on the head you guys win three two in game one on a safety squeeze you win three nothing in game number two today you have a seven run lead going into the fifth they come back pull it to two eight to six but you guys grind it out so yet again your team not making it easy but uh, they show their character and come away with the victory so you have to be happy yeah i know we're, we're definitely happy to come out on top but uh, their head coach, you know, teams get down seven, eight, nine runs and some coaches will go away and he doesn't go away. You know, he's still fighting for calls and, you know, uh, his pitching coach gets thrown out <laughs> fighting for calls and, you know, rightfully so. And, uh, you know, that's why their players, they, they don't stop until the final out. So, it, you know, you know that you're going to get that from them and it was good to be able to, you know, take some of those punches when they came at us and, and survive and, and win the game. All right, a couple accolades this weekend. Uh, you get Sean Newcomb, first player in program history to get 200 strikeouts. He's got now 201. That happened on Saturday. You also get Alex Gowen that uh, records his eighth save. That sets a school record for single season. And then you guys get uh, your 21st win today. That is the first time in 20 years. So take all that in, mm -hmm. and, and what do you think? We said in the huddle here at the end that you know these are great. They're they're good accomplishments, uh, and the you know the strikeouts and the saves. Those are you know individual records, and those are great. You know those guys should be very proud of what they've done, and we're happy for them. The wins is something that we're going to recognize, but you know, I just said to the guys that that's going to be normalcy. You know, I mean, 20 wins is it's not a lot of wins. You're playing 50 some odd games, so uh, we expect that to be a normal season. That's a, a down season is a low 20s win. So uh, I think these guys are expecting more out of themselves. And you know, if we don't finish with 30 wins this year, we're going to be really upset, or more, 30 more wins, 30 or more for sure. Well, the boys take care of business against the Albany Great Danes. They have sole possession of America East. They'll be on the road for quite some time. You can follow them at HartfordHawks.com. They'll return uh, here the first week of May to host the UMBC Retrievers for a four-game series. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com for all the latest.